What's that? This just in. Up to 190,000 residents of Simi Valley, Moore Park, and Thousand Oaks could become infected with COVID-19. And we're also out of coffee. <laughs> Pretty much everyone on Earth is freaking out about the coronavirus. No thanks to the media, to whom I'm sure we all want to just say, SHUT UP! Yes, it's a pandemic, and maybe you feel like, There is nowhere to hide. And it is true that based on some CDC numbers and worst case scenario estimates, up to 190,000 people in Moore Park, Simi Valley, and Thousand Oaks could become infected with COVID-19 if nothing is done. Holy crap. But the thing is, stuff is being done. Yes, we should do what the CDC says and be extra cautious. You all know what that is, I'm not gonna repeat it here. But this whole curl up in a ball, wrap yourselves in protective toilet paper, and stare at the news all day, just, it's just not gonna work. The reality is, unless you're super old or sick already, you're probably not gonna die. In fact, as of this recording, there are only five reported cases in all of Ventura County of COVID-19. Before you know it, things will return to normal, and the sooner we can cautiously start acting normal, the sooner that will be. So let's talk about my normal, which is real estate. If you've been thinking about selling your house, should you put off selling your house now because of this worldwide panic about the coronavirus? Hell no. Hell no. Why shouldn't you be afraid to sell your house right now? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, inventory is super low. In fact, we have just over half as many homes on the market as we did this time last year. Some people may be afraid to list their homes right now because they don't want people trouncing through their houses. So if you list your home, there's gonna be less homes to choose from, which means that your home really has a great chance of selling stupid fast. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking. Trevor, you're a realtor, you wanna list houses so you can sell them and make money. <laughs> Yes, that is true. But I also put my house where my mouth is. In fact, today, right now, is the Saturday after I listed my house. I listed my house on Friday the 13th. Friday, March the 13th, which is the day after the biggest freak out we've had, from what I can tell, about the coronavirus. That's how much I believe that now is a great time to sell your house. And how's it going for us so far? Well, about eight hours after we listed our home on the MLS, we had an awesome offer. We're probably gonna be in escrow by Monday. Oh, but Trevor, you'd never actually have your family do that. You're just doing it because you're a realtor and have nothing to lose. Well, reality is, we listed my sister's house this weekend as well. And literally at this moment, as I'm recording this, my wife is sitting in open house right now at my sister's home, which has a ton of interest already. We're probably also gonna list two or three other homes this month. The reality is now is a great time to sell your house, no matter how crazy and panicked the rest of the world becomes. What about buyers? What if you're thinking of buying a house? Well, interest rates are still at ridiculous, ridiculous lows. Earlier this month, the Fed cut the federal funds rate and they're expected to cut the federal funds rate again. But that doesn't have a huge impact on mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are usually affected primarily by the 10-year treasury. The 10-year treasury rates go down as confidence in the economy goes down because right, people bail out of the stock market and they buy treasury notes because that's a safer place to put your money. So the interest rate goes down and then mortgage rates tend to follow that. Currently, mortgage rates are still just under 4%. I don't expect them to be going up significantly anytime soon. Now is a fantastic time to buy a house and lock in a great 30-year fixed rate. With some people overreacting to COVID-19, there will probably be less buyers out there as well, so you may have less people competing for the same house, even though there are less homes on the market. When is the best time to buy or sell a house? This whole timing the market thing is a myth. You buy a house when you need a house. You sell a house when you need to sell a house. That's when you do it, when the time is right for you. I never try to time the market. We're selling our house right now because we've got some opportunities we're pursuing. It's the right time for us, no matter how crazy this world is becoming. The best thing we can all do right now is to be cautious, do all those things they tell us to do, wash your hands, avoid big crowds, and dude, stop licking total strangers. And live your life as normally as possible to do your part in keeping the economy chugging along. When I do a real estate transaction, about 50 people have jobs because of that when you go all the way down the food chain. Every real estate transaction helps the economy. What you do at your job helps the economy as well. So be part of the solution, man. For us here at Jones Home Collective, it's business as usual with a little extra dash of hand sanitizer and uh, fist bumps instead of all that handshaky, touchy thing. 
If we can help you live your life as normally as possible, just hit us up, man. We're, we, we pick up the phone, we text, we email. We'd love to talk real estate and houses and living a normal life with you. Oh, if you lost that fight at Costco and are out of toilet paper, just uh, catch up with the rest of the world and uh, grab one of these. I hear they're delightful. Just click the link below.